Extreme Magazine's here at Terry Weigel, the living legend, at Stage Door Johnny's down here in New Haven, Connecticut. What's going on, Terry? Not much. Just getting ready um, for a show. Getting ready to prep. Um, getting my costume on and um, just talk with the DJ and just holding my chest wow, that's and awesome. arrow back, the 34 with the <laughs> double D boobies. Double D boobies. What did you say there were 70 millimeter? What were you saying? Seven, 700 cc's. 700 cc's, 11. That's yeah. each, right? They're soft too. So it's really like it's 1400 cc's. Well, I'll tell you what, the old pack that I had taken out, which I call them the sacks, they were yeah. uh, 550s and they each weighed, because I kept them, because then one, one day I'll, I'll put them on eBay. Really? But each one of them weighed 2.3 pounds. Whoa. So that's 5.1 pounds of back then 500 cc. So these got to at least be. Three pounds each. That's three pounds eleven, huh? I'm telling you. That's but they're awesome. soft. They're nice. They're nice to. Can I feel them? Wait, yeah. Put put them up because we can't do nude. Let's see. Okay. Wow. Yeah, they're nice. I got that's nice awesome. Tits. Nice. Tits. That's that's natural lift and everything. Yeah. Holy shit! Good job, Terry. Yeah, yeah, Who yeah, did yeah. those for you? <laughs> A couple doctors. Oh, okay. Started with Harline. Harline. Well, the same clinic, Harline, and then Sontag. Um, he took over his practice and then um, divided out, and I stayed with right. him in Utah. And he did my boobs. He did oh, a great cool. job. You had to go all the way out to Utah, I presume? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Oh. So, um, I know we missed dinner, but catch me up on what you've been doing. Like, what, what recently have you been uh, up to? Oh, my gosh. City to city. Uh, city to city? Last week, we were in the same city, in the same hotel, you and I. I know. It's funny. I went and interviewed Jenna Hayes, and you were, like, what, two stories up? Yep. I was in 302, and she was two stories down, because they were above. She was on the fifth floor, wasn't she? Um, you know, I don't know. I met everybody out at the pool. Yeah, she was on the fifth floor because I remember when I had to go down that when when I saw when I finally saw her. Yeah. And she actually told me that um, um, what's her name was at the Foxy Lady. I'm like, oh, we Gina all, Lynn. Gina Lynn was there. Yeah, we were all there together. So we were like all on the same hotel. Yeah. All three of us, and they were on the fifth floor, and I was on the third, and that's because I came in the day earlier. I was at Cadillacs, and that was great. Yeah, great. it was it was a good time down at the Cadillac Lounge. Yeah. Now this. Okay, we were packed in there. I mean, good money. Line. Good money, huh? Right. Oh. Then, big old no no no. Oops. Oh, let me see. All right, country yeah. titties. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, get up. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, um, You're blushing there. What's that? You're blushing there. I'm blushing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's not every day I get to interview a star such as yourself. <laughs> now, you've done a lot. You've done a lot of uh, magazine work. You've done a lot with Playboy. You've done a lot with mainstream films. Um, what is it that attracts you the most? to the clubs and the adult entertainment opposed to like a mainstream environment? Mm, the entertainment aspect of it is that I really like to entertain and being um, out on my own I can do whatever I want which okay. is what I like. I like doing straight movies which I still do. Um, every year I do a small part in something. I still stand, I still keep my card, Screen Actors Guild card. Just small parts here and there. Might have married a man two, two, three years ago and um, got this part that's coming up soon where I play, um, it's a pretty big part, it's a horror movie. So that's coming up in September, which I'll be three three weeks, I think, filming. So, oh, wow. you know, yeah, so, you know, I still do that. It's um, exciting to see yourself on films, straight films, when right. you come back for the acting aspect of it, because it's like, wow, I mean, I did a good job. Or I didn't do a good job, but usually it's a pretty good job I do. Oh, I think, you do, I think you do an excellent job. You were uh, Al Bundy's fantasy girl. I think that was like one of your first big roles, right? Um, one of yeah, them. That, that yeah. was back when... Uh, right around that time is kind of when my career started to really break. So there was a lot of things that I did. I worked with Bruce Willis in Sunset, which is a Blake Edwards film. I did uh, Return to Kill of Tomatoes with... Uh, Clooney, George Clooney and I. Yeah, I was working together. with George Clooney. That was before he got super famous, he huh? He was 25 years old. Did, didn't and, he uh, used to sell suits before he got famous oh, or something? he was just so charming. What a nice... Really? Nice dude. He was now, just... Now, do you, do you keep in contact? Somebody, no, but I'm sure he would remember me because I was kind of like my my, <clears throat> my cover had come out. And I think I think the centerfold had come out. So he had, was holding up and if you return the killer tomatoes, actually he bought that whole thing. Him and his his partner, they were young kids, right. started their own production company. And that was like one of their first films that they did. They bought the rights of... That attack the killer. Yeah, so, I mean, he was really smart. That dude was smart, and um, he, um, so um, he had my cover for right. Playboy, the first one I did in like well, '85, November of '85 was my first cover. Yeah, I did 17 covers for Playboy, 
and he seventeen it up, covers 17. for Playboy. Not just holy shit the magazine, but the the videos, the um, foreign editions, the videos. Um, I a lot for them. Wow, that's awesome. So you're here at Stage Door Johnny's pretty much on a quarterly basis, right? You're, you're exclusive. You now they've got me four times <clears> a year, so I'm here a lot. I'm happy. I love Johnny. He's great. Is it Johnny like, a nice guy? He's a great guy. We get along. We're both paisans together. You're both panzanos? Panzanos, yeah. That, that's Italians, right? Yeah, paisans. I'm a Russian yeah. Polak, so you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, those are good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surrounded by Rus Russian people. I mean, uh, Polacks and my, my my sister's married to a Polak. Oh, yeah? He watches my dogs. Nice, He's nice. He's great. I the guy before that that watched the dogs in California had two homes a couple years back, and he was Polish, and he was a, been with been with me for 20 years, 15 years. Really? Yep. Now, do, so. do you have a MySpace or anything? You're awake, awake. Terry Weigel. What is it? Terry, T E R I. T E R I. W E I G E L. Yeah. MySpace. You can see me sing there. So really? I sing in Vegas for Playboy. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Where was that? The Playboy Casino or? Um, Maxim. Maxim. Maxim, years ago. You're talking 1987 to 91. Oh, wow. How, how do you manage to keep in such good shape? I mean, do you like go to the gym five days a week? No. No? Really? No. But I'm dancing almost every weekend, so right. I contribute to that. Um, part of it's genetics. I'm just lucky. My grandmother lived till she was 100. She just died of old age, no cancer, nothing. Really? Yeah. Now, I've seen a couple of uh, different shows with you across the country, and every show you seem to wear a different costume or yeah. have a different theme. Is that planned, or do you just bring all this stuff with you? Well, I have certain music that I do themes to, and after about three months, I get sick of the costume. Oh, okay. I either, I either throw them out to the audience or I give them to the girls, and so I've always got new stuff. Oh, okay. Stuff every, about every four months, I do that because I get bored. Yeah. You know. So, so, so you're so you're always you're progressive about it. You always keep your shows different. Yeah, you got to because you get bored. I mean, even a change of costume brings a different feeling and different flavor to you when you're dancing and stuff because it's new, it's sexy. Girls right. like new stuff, so. And it just makes it so that the show is always fresh. You'll never, you know. Well, I think you're definitely an industry thing. leader because every show is, you know, you throw in a different. Uh, I tried to back in the day, like 15 years ago, when when it all started to progress, where it was so big coming into clubs. We used to have to have 20. We do 24, 24 shows a week, six days a week. That really? Would be four to five shows. Who's that? Johnny. Come on, you can come in. No. Johnny, Johnny, come in. Come here, it's all right. We're doing an interview. Okay. Johnny, what's going on, man? Come on, you gotta get on stage. Okay. We gotta get on stage? We're doing this interview for uh, Extreme at TV. Okay. And uh, we're just kind of in the middle of it. Does she have to go on stage? Yeah, that's pretty we gotta quick. go on yeah. stage. Here, let's get, a nice, let's get a nice picture of the two of you. Johnny, my buddy. There my we buddy. go. All right, well, I guess that wraps up for this Extreme <laughs> exclusive. I love uh, him, I love this club. He's gonna be seeing more of me tomorrow. I get to see the grandkid, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. I took her uh, I a little wet just tonight. She sees the guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw it, the it's, boys. I, I'm, I'm so disappointed you didn't invite me. Last time I had such a good time, and I got a free meal out of it. I missed the boys. Thanks, buddy. Uh, that was cool. Yeah, that was that yeah. was really cool. Well, next time you're in town, here, I promise that I'll stop by and have dinner with you. Great. That'd be and, great. And uh, there's another. To it. I look yeah. forward to it as well. Another exclusive you're interview. You're next time, though. I'm buying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, oh my goodness. See, this is Florida. We don't buy here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. That's all right. Cool. I'm, I'm out. Thank you, everybody. Peace out. Be sure to tune to uh, Extreme Magazine for Bye. all the lo local updated porn star stripper interviews. Yeah, and I thank you because, like I said to you off camera, you got me three jobs from your interview, so I appreciate it. Because well, hopefully, I'm going to get you three more jobs with this interview. You showed, you know, how I look and all that, I appreciate it. Well, thank you. You're gorgeous. I, I don't think it was so much me as it was your very sexy good looks. But, you, know, you did a good job. I, I think you had a lot to do with it, I have too. to thank you for that. So I thank You're you. welcome. And I'm getting dressed I up. I want to rock!